I am going to explain uh, two example problems on Wheatstone's bridge and one problem on the Kelvin bridge. Problems are very very important when uh, bridges concept is considered because everything is in analytical part. So if you know the formula what is the unknown value of this Rx in terms of the known values like R1, R2, R3 then we can calculate the unknown value Rx. Okay, Rx here it is generally considered at the fourth arm. As I told you, Rx is always connected at the fourth arm. Okay, see here, let us do this problem. So, a Wheatstone's bridge is having the following parameters like R1 is equal to 10 kilo ohms. R1 is equal to 10 kilo ohms. Here, this value is given as 10 kilo ohms. And R2 is equal to 15 kilo ohms. And R3 is equal to 40 kilo ohms. And R4 or Rx. Here it is the unknown impedance Rx. Unknown resistance Rx we need to calculate. Okay. So, given first always it is the better best practice to write what are the given values. Okay. So, given that R1 is equal to 10 kilo ohms. R2 is equal to 15 kilo ohms and R3 is equal to 40 kilo ohms. Now, we know very well about the formula Rx or R4 is equal to what is the formula? What I told you? Multiplication of opposite values, opposite resistors are equal. That means Rx R1 is equal to R2 R3. In that way, what we can write R2 R3 by R1. Okay, this is the formula. If you go back to the Wheatstone's bridge calculation, you will get the same formula. And you have to write this is proved when bridge is in balanced condition. Bridge is balanced. Okay, so R2, R3, when bridge is in balanced condition, Rx is equal to R2, R3 by R1. Just by substituting the given values, you can get the answer. 15 kilo into R3 is nothing but 40 kilo divided by 10 kilo. Okay, so this kilo, this kilo, 10, 10, 15, 60. So 60 kilo ohms is the Rx value unknown value okay very simple formula now let us go to another problem which is in unbalanced condition see here it is clearly written that the bridge Wheatstone's bridge is in unbalanced condition okay so an unbalanced Wheatstone bridge has the following parameters so r1 is equal to 1 kilo ohms r2 is equal to 2.5 kilo ohms R3 is equal to 3.5 kilo ohms, R4 is equal to 10 kilo ohms and input voltage V is also given which is nothing but 6 volts. Okay, find the current through the galvanometer if it has an internal resistance of 0.3 kilo ohms or 300 ohms. So, internal resistance of this galvanometer RG is also given which is nothing but 300 ohms. So, let us write down what are the given values. So, given that answer, given that R1 is equal to R1 is equal to 1 kilo ohm R2 is equal to 2.5 kilo ohms R3 is equal to 3.5 kilo ohms and R4 is equal to 10 kilo ohms voltage V is equal to 6 volts Okay, and internal resistance of the galvanometer is also given Rg is equal to 300 ohms. Okay, 300 ohms. Now, now, here the bridge is in unbalanced condition. We know the unknown values can be calculated like the resistor, unknown resistor value can be calculated when bridge is in balanced condition like in the previous case. 
but now it is clearly saying that in the problem it is clearly mentioned that the bridge is in unbalanced condition i told you when i was explaining this wheelstone's bridge when the bridge is in balanced condition the only parameter we can measure is the current flowing through the galvanometer because bridge is in balanced condition means some deflection will be there in the meter so definitely some current flowing through this galvanometer ig so in order to calculate this ig what we need to do we need to take this galvanometer as the load between the points let it be a and b then open circuit the galvanometer and calculate the thevenin's equivalent across this a and b points okay already this type of method we have seen in the unbalanced bridge condition okay now the thevenin's equivalent voltage e th thevenin's voltage e th is equal to e into e into so suppose if ea otherwise you can also say thevenin's equivalent voltage ea minus eb ea minus eb okay ea minus eb ea is the voltage at this point at this node a and e, this is ea from here to ground okay and eb eb is nothing but from here to ground that means voltage across r3 that is ea and voltage across r4 that is eb so how to write the voltage across r3 and r4 already we have taken this one in the last class okay so ea minus eb uh, e what is the total voltage 6 volts so let it be some v into r3 by r1 plus r3 minus v into r4 by r2 plus r4 okay so by taking the v as common here r3 by r1 plus r3 minus r4 by r2 plus r3 so what are the values of this r3 and r1 r2 r3 substitute them r3 is equal to 3.5 kilo ohms okay so here it is uh, you have to remember one point whichever is the highest value ea and eb compare whichever is the highest value that you have to take eb minus ea or ea minus eb okay so you can take here it is as eb minus ea okay because r4 value is more compared to r3 so this will give, become minus and this will become plus so simply 10 kilo ohms by r4 is 10 kilo ohms by r2 2.5 plus 10 12.5 kilo ohms minus what is r3 r3 by 3.5 kilo ohms by 3.5 plus what is this r1 plus r3 huh? r1 plus r3 uh, sorry r2 plus r4 next this one r1 plus r3 r1 is nothing but 1 kilo ohm and it is 3.5 kilo ohms so it is 4.5 kilo ohms this one and what is the value of c v v is nothing but 6 volts so if you calculate this one you will get 0 0.132 approximately 0 0.132 volts you will get this is the thevenin's equivalent voltage eth okay and coming to the calculation of Thevenin's resistance, Thevenin's resistance, okay, so Thevenin's resistance RTH, in order to calculate the Thevenin's resistance, what we need to do, we need to short circuit the voltage, so when we short circuit the voltage, how the circuit looks like, already we have drawn in the last class, these two resistors will be like this, like R1, R2, R3, and again these two resistors R2, R4 this is the B and this is the node A ok so these two resistors these two resistors are in parallel these two resistors are in parallel and their resultant is in series so already we know this one R1 parallel R3 plus R2 parallel R4 so how to write this one r1 r3 by r1 plus r3 plus r2 r4 by r2 plus r4 
so if you substitute the values you will get here same okay uh, by taking and substituting the values you will get 2.77 kilo ohms this is rth value now what is the resultant uh, thevenin's equivalent network eth followed by a resistor rth rth value is equal to 2.77 kilo ohms and eth is equal to what is eth 0.132 volts now take the galvanometer at the points between a and b okay now we need to find out the current ig and rg is also given which is around 300 ohms internal resistance of the galvanometer suppose if internal resistance is not there ideal uh, ideal meter then rg is equal to 0 okay so eth is equal to 0 0.132 and rth is this one so rg is equal to 300 ohms therefore current flowing through the galvanometer ig is equal to eth by rth plus rg suppose if rg is g equal to 0 then rg is not there so that is equal to 0 0.132 divided by 2.77 kilo plus rg equal to 300 ohms we can write it as 0 0.3 kilo ohms okay so if you simplify this you will get 42.88 micro amperes this is the current flowing through the galvanometer in the unbalanced bridge condition okay unless it is specified unbalanced in the problem you don't need to worry about the current calculation only unknown calculations will be there okay suppose if it is unbalanced condition definitely you can find out only the current flowing through the galvanometer okay now see this is the kelvin's bridge kelvin's double bridge where the galvanometer is connected between the terminals this terminal this is the galvanometer and this is the position okay now see here the question is given that in this figure the ratio it is ratio here it is the ratio of ra to rb is 1000 ohms ra to rb is 1000 ohms that means ra by rb is equal to 1000 ohms okay and r1 is equal to 5 ohms r1 is equal to 5 ohms r2 is equal to 0 0.5 into r2 so how can you what is it r1 r1 is equal to 0 0.5 r2 so 5 is equal to 0 0.5 r2 so r2 is equal to simply it is nothing but 10 ohms okay so this is r1 value this is r2 value now what you are asked to calculate what is the value of rx what is the value of rx we know when we have explained the kelvin's bridge i told you one formula that means uh, when double bridge is considered when double bridge is considered there is a ratio we should maintain rx by the resistance r2 is equal to rb by ra okay the resistor values may be different there it is a by b and r1 r2 like that but the formula is the value first here we need to consider this one by this one is equal to this one by this one okay so the condition is the condition for kelvin's bridge is r x by r2 is equal to r b by r a okay r x by what is r2 10 is equal to r b by r a already r a by r b is given that is 1000 so it is 1 by 1000 so this 0 this 0 cancel it is 0 0.01 ohms so therefore r x is equal to 0 0.01 ohms this is the unknown resistance value in the kelvin's bridge so kelvin bridge, kelvin's bridge may also have problems like this instead of direct notations okay so these are the example problems of this wheatstone's bridge and kelvin's bridge
Thank you.